What is going on you guys? Steve with the video for you today. So today I just kind of wanted to do a a PC video and let's tap right in the cards. Here we got the 1996 Pinnacle Star vs. Sammy Sosa. Absolutely love this card with the Cubs logo there on his sleeve and kind of wanted to spotlight this card because uh, I lose a lot of retention time once I get into the 90s. So yeah, you know, I just wanted to share there there are a lot of beautiful cards from you know the 90s up to modern that you know a lot of people just seem to ignore. And there is the Sammy Sosa. This is uh, part of my Gatorade Celebration cards. Here's the 2014 Topps Brian Dozier uh, Gatorade Bath card. And did not have this one, so I'm really happy to add this one into the collection of Gatorade Celebration cards. Cool looking card there with the dirt on his uniform and getting the Gatorade Bath. Now let's get into the chronolo chronological order. Here is the... 1953 Bowman Color of Al Rosen. This is his autograph. You can see his autograph going right down the middle there. On his arm. To his shoulder. And, you know, just a beautiful looking card. Love the 53 Bowman Colors. A lot of them just have amazing photography. And this is one of them. Um, played his whole career with the Cleveland Indians slash Guardians from 1947 to 1956. So there is a Rosen autograph. We'll move on to the 1952 Tops of Rosen. This is just another, you know, beautiful looking card. Um, I love the red background, and then the red Indians just pops out, and then the Indian logo there on his sleeve. Just a pretty cool looking card. Um, a little bit more about Rosen. He had a 285 career batting average, 192 home runs, 717 RBIs. He was a four-time All-Star. American League MVP in 1953, and he's in the Indians slash Guardians Hall of Fame. So that's just a really cool looking 1952 Tops of Rosen. And there is the autograph to go with it as well. For the back to the Bowman color. Let's go on to the 1959 Tops card of Orlando Cepeda. So Cepeda is in the Giants Hall of Fame. And he was inducted into Cooperstown in 1999 through the Veterans Committee. So there's the 59 Cepeda. Let's move on to the 1960 Tops card of Jim Gilliam. So Gilliam, kind of a fun fact about him, is uh, he's the only Dodgers player uh, number that is retired who is not in the Hall of Fame. So that's kind of a fun fact, and this is just a clean-looking 1960 card of Gilliam. Here is the 1962 Topps card of Jim Bunning. Man, you know, just a beautiful looking card of this Hall of Famer. I just love the background and with the stadium. That Tigers uniform is pretty cool too, so, you know. Bunning has a lot of great looking cards, and this one's one of them, in my opinion. Here is the 1972 Topps card of Don Kessinger. Yeah, Kessinger, a six-time All-Star, a two-time Golden Glove Award winner, Cubbies fan favorite. He's also in the Cubs Hall of Fame. So there's a 72 Kessinger. I'm actually looking for his autograph right now. I haven't pursued it too hard, but it is one I'd like to add. Here's the 1978 Topps card of Raleigh Fingers. Man, I love these 70s cards with the spring training look in the background and the blue skies and... Those old school Padre uniforms are just awesome. You know, Hall of Fame pitcher, Raleigh Fingers. Here is the 1988 Donruss of Gary Carter. You know, I love Gary Carter, Hall of Fame catcher, but what really catches me for this card is the border, and then the batting cage, and then the color of the uniforms. Everything just works well together with the blue sky. And I love that Mets logo as well. So there is Gary Carter. Let's go on to the 1989 Topps card of Barry Bonds. Uh, you know, I'm not a gigantic Barry Bonds fan, but I just respect uh, you know his playing abilities and what he brought to the game, whether it's steroids or not. I don't think the steroids did that big of a difference to because he's you know elite player, whether he was on them or not, I think. 
There's 89 berry bombs. And this card's pretty cool. This is the uh, 1993 Stadium Club Pacific Terrific of uh, King Griffey Jr. on that side. With the sunset, that's pretty neat. Then Daryl Strawberry on this side. So, uh, I actually uh, had this card, but our uh, Lance Something Old Something New card rips showed that card, and I just kind of wanted to share it as well. He shared it quite a while ago. It's kind of made me think maybe I should show it. Here is the uh, 1997 uh, Pacific Away jersey of Jeff Bagwell. Man, now this is, again, what the 90s are all about with cards and all that. Just a cool-looking Bagwell card with the how it's shaped like a you know, jersey. That's pretty neat. This is a pretty cool-looking card, too. This is the 2000... It's like a holographic step card of... Uh, Alfonso Soriano, and he gets absolutely zero hobby love, or even baseball love. He was, uh, you know, a seven-time All-Star and four-time Silver Slugger Award winner. Not too shabby of a player. Over 2,000 hits. This is a neat card, too. This is the, uh, what is this? This is the uh, 2011 Stadium Lights Tops opening day of Miguel Cabrera. Man, just a cool looking photo there of Miggy and, I don't know, Stadium Lights card. This is really neat. We'll end it with the uh, 2016 Tops Ichiro. And again, beautiful photography. And it's one thing I love about the modern day cards is, you know, some of them are just picture perfect, I think. I love Ichiro, so I appreciate you guys watching. Take care and stay safe, everybody. Thanks again.